Hi, so my microphone was turned off on accident. I forgot to press the on button, so there's no sound here, and I am recording my voiceover now. So basically what I was saying was, we're here at Game On Expo in Phoenix, Arizona, 2024, and I was just very overwhelmed by all the stuff that was there. Like, as soon as I got in, there was so many booths and vendors to look at, so this is basically what I saw when I came in. And there's no sound for the next few clips, so I'm just going to fill it over with music or a voiceover. Uh, thanks for understanding. I feel so dumb that I didn't turn on my own microphone, and I was just talking into dead air, so... Anyway, yeah, here's what I caught for the first few, I don't know, 20 minutes I was there. So at this point, I was getting in line to see Neil Newborn, and I was basically saying here that I was a little emotional and I was trying really hard not to cry. I did not film anyone in the line in case I accidentally filmed any of the actors without their permission, and I just felt like there was a bunch of people I didn't know and I didn't want to just like film them without their permission. Anyway, here's some pics of me and Neil that I took that day. Is this allowed? Yeah. Is this allowed? How dare. So, I'm in bed right now because I'm exhausted. Oh, uh, I drove to Arizona. It wasn't a long drive, but it wasn't not a long drive. And it was the first time I've ever driven that long by myself. But I'm tired, I was walking all day. It was a lot of walking at the con and it was my first day there. So I did, I'm sorry I didn't film a lot, but I met some cool people in line to meet Neil and I'll have maybe a picture too if I'm not lazy. <laughs> oh man, what a day, it was such a cool day. Neil gave me a hug. I gave him a lovely little letter that I wrote for him, so hopefully he'll read it. Well, he said he would, but uh, I'm going back tomorrow and I might get back in line and ask him if he read it. I'm so, I'm not embarrassed. I am a little embarrassed, but I'm like more nervous than anything. Oh God, I feel, so here's the interaction. Cause it was, it felt so quick, but it was so casual, you know, like it was, strange how casual it felt to talk to him even though i was like a blubbering mess <laughs> like it, it like before i like when i got in the line i was crying and i was just telling myself let it out you gotta let the emotions run through you and then you know i talked to people in line and i waited almost two hours and i'm i might be exaggerating i don't know but two hours is my best guess give or take um but when i got up there um i bought a print for him to sign and I, <laughs> I asked him to write an endearing quote. <laughs> and I feel so stupid because he's all like, historian's not really endearing. And I was like, yes, he is. And I was like, why argue? <laughs> I don't know why I said that, I'm so sorry. I should have said he has his moments. A starian can be endearing. Is he usually? No. I cannot believe I said that. I think I was just tired or I was nervous, but I leaned up against the counter and talked to him. That's what I mean by casual, because it, it didn't feel like I was talking to a celebrity. I just leaned up against the counter and when we were talking about quotes, I was like, I don't, he, because he asked me to choose one and I was like, I don't know, I was hoping you'd help me. I don't know. Oh, my, my brother's with me. He's not my blood brother. He's my brother from another mother. But this hotel room is really nice. I'm trying to film real quick because I don't think he wants to be on camera, but oh. It says, the, the quote that we agreed on was, here's my little treat with their cheeks all flushed. So that's what we chose. And I just, <laughs> I, I think I, I don't remember exactly what I said, but I was probably like, sure, why not? And that's what I said. So I got that. And then I thought about it later. and was like, I should have just asked him to write the, you're not alone in this. But then I was like, everybody gets that one. So maybe it's a good thing I didn't get that one. I am so happy and I shook his hand, we spoke for a little bit, 
he took a picture with me and it, he was so nice because he asked, can I put my arm around you? And I said, sure, can I put my arm around you? And he said, yes. I took the photos with him because I don't know, I was trying to think about what happened next because obviously we took the photos. God damn, he's tall, I'm sorry. I'm a shorty, so when I was standing next to him, I wanted to comment like, why are you so tall? It's not a bad thing, I just found it really interesting how tall he was. My God, I didn't realize how tall he was. Anyway, but uh, afterwards, you know, I offered to shake his hand, like I put my hand out to, to shake it, and then he's like, how about a hug instead? And I was like, oh, <laughs> you are such a sweetheart. I'm putting my print away. I want it to be protected in my little bag. But I couldn't believe that. I, I was just gonna shake his hand, and he was like, what about a hug? And I was like, okay. <laughs> he's so nice. And then I feel dumb because I said, is it okay if I say I love you? And <laughs> I mean, he said it was fine, but I feel stupid now, but I, I didn't mean it in a weird way. I'm not like trying to be like, I love you. No, but he was very sweet and I appreciated the whole experience. I'm sorry if I'm talking real weird. It could be because I'm tired <laughs> and because it's still surreal to me that it happened. And then I just, I get embarrassed. I don't know why. It's, it, I feel like I embarrassed myself, even though I probably didn't, but I feel, <laughs> I feel a little embarrassed. I hope I'm not cringe. I, I just tried to talk to him like a normal person, and I think I did. <laughs> I hope I did. I don't have a lot of confidence in myself sometimes, but I have to tell myself, you know what? It's probably not as bad as you think. As awkward, as socially awkward as I may be because I'm neurodivergent, I probably am not as bad as what I build myself up to be in my head. So it probably wasn't so bad. And if it was that bad, I really hope that he would have said something. I don't know what he would have said, but... I would never, you know, want to make him uncomfortable. So anyway, there's that. It was a fun experience. I'm going to see him again tomorrow, maybe. And uh, we'll find out what happens. I gave him the letter that I wrote him, which came attached with song lyrics. And the letter explains the song lyrics. And um, we'll see what happens. I wonder if he'll read it tonight or if he'll just take it home after this whole ordeal and read it then. But I will see. What happens? I will let you know when I know. So, thanks. All right, I'm walking towards the convention center now. I'm a couple hours late, but I mean, I don't think there's really lateness to these things. I think you just kind of, they're going on all day, so I think you just kind of show up whenever you feel like. But, oh my God, it took me forever to find the goddamn parking structure that I went to yesterday because it was perfect because it's only a few blocks up. And it's just a straight walk to the convention center, so I'm here, I'm awake, got my outfit, and I better move because the light is ready for the pedestrians cross. But that's what we're doing. It's day two. Um, I didn't mention this last night, but the people that I met, or maybe I did mention it, I don't remember. <laughs> but the people I met yesterday, I didn't think they wanted to be on camera, I didn't even ask. And it was the first day, so I just wanted to look around. Probably gonna do a lot of looking around again because I was in line for like the majority of the time um, yesterday, so we'll see what happens today. I don't know how much I'm gonna film, but I'll film as much as I can. met them yesterday we're already besties <laughs> so we're waiting to see who's who's here neil devora shadow who was shadow Hearts? yes jennifer um who else is here there's someone else a squirrel she plays a squirrel isn't, isn't her name maggie or something i think so yeah. i don't know i'm not sure all right we're so excited uh,
glasses goes into the match play up high. I didn't fucking turn the microphones on, so there's only gonna be audio in so many of these videos. I'm such a dumbass, I forgot. Yesterday when I did the introduction, I didn't fucking have the microphone on, so I'm talking in a dead silence. But anyway, um, I had to take a break, so I'm sitting on a wall. Sitting. Anyway, so we're... <laughs> no, I've been walking around, there's been a lot of cool vendors. And uh, I'm very tired from walking. I ate a yummy, delicious Mediterranean salad to give me energy. But um, and it's it's worked. It was it worked for a while. Now I'm just tired because I've been walking so much with my heavy ass backpack and my hydro flask in it. I've seen a lot of cool stuff today. There are a lot of artists and vendors here who are very talented and dedicated to their craft. And I'm very proud to be here amongst all of them. Um, and I've bought a lot of Baldur's Gate 3 stuff. Well, not a lot, but like, I've spent an insane amount of money on Baldur's Gate 3 um, memorabilia, I guess you could call it. Well, memorabilia is probably not the right word, but I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. Like, I saw Neil twice, I saw him earlier, and I only got a selfie with him. Um, and I can just tell, no offense, this is not a slight on him at all, but he looked a little tired and I felt so bad. I was like, oh my god, dude, go take a nap or something. Um, he works so hard, so anyway. Um, but I saw Devora, and I'm sorry, I can't get videos of when I'm in the, I don't want to take videos while I'm in the line. I feel like that's hugely disrespectful, especially if I'm going to be posting it online. Like, I don't know, I just, I don't want to take videos or pictures of the actors that are there without explicit permission, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to put their likeness up unless they have explicit permission, which is why I have some of the Baldur's Gate 3 panel uh, filmed. But I only have some of it filmed because it was a long time, for one. Two, it was live streamed. Three, I didn't feel like filming the whole thing. Uh, I wanted, to, I want to be here for the experience. So I'm not filming like everything, everything. I'm just filming a little bit here and there. Sorry, someone looked at me. I'm just chilling right now. I got kind of sad after Neil's line because, you know, it happened so fast. And then, you know, my friends that I made here, they left while I was in line and it kind of bummed me out because I was hoping to hang out with them. And I don't, I hope if you guys watch this, please don't feel bad. It's not your fault. I know you had to go, but uh, I was just kind of bummed because I was actually happy I made friends here. So I'm all by myself right now, which is okay. I'm, I'm, fine i'm cool with being alone um but yeah it was it, it was really fun to have like people around that are here for the same thing that you can talk about these things too so I, I if you can't tell i'm only here for Baldur's gate 3 stuff so that's like my whole thing here there's been some things that are interesting around here that i've looked at and uh, i even just played a game called i mustache you that the, the vendors over there that made the game it was a really fun game uh it can be kind of spicy so it's an adult themed game, but it was it was fun to play with strangers. Uh, it got a little interesting, but anyway, now I'm self-conscious because I gave away a little bit of information about me that I probably shouldn't have given to strangers, but whatever. So yay, we did that. The con is going well. I will let you know if anything else cool happens. Okay, we're back. It's day three. We're here. We have caffeinated, as you can tell by this coffee. And I'm about to meet up with my friends. Also, hold on. Let me get my life together. Thank you again, Keith at Swoop Dat Printing, for getting me this custom made shirt. Follow Swoop Dat Printing. Guys, I got hugged by Shadowheart. I got hugged by Jennifer English because I told her how much I love her and Aliana. Oh my god, she's so sweet. I am about to cry. She was so sweet. Her and Aliana both gave me a hug. Oh my god, I love those people so much. Oh my god, I'm like almost in tears. 
Oh, this is such a great con weekend. I'm so happy. <laughs> I am so happy. We have made it, folks. The con, well, the con is still going, but I did everything I wanted to do. So for me, con is over. I survived all three days with the VIP experience at Game On Expo. And I guess I'll just recap because let's be honest, I was, I, I made new friends and um, I was walking everywhere with them and I just didn't feel like filming much and I didn't want to like put them on camera if they didn't want to. Um, and to be honest with you, I just didn't have interest in much else unless it was Baldur's Gate 3 related. That's really the only reason I went. I did get some cool stuff. I did show you I have uh, Shadow Hearts signature. I I'm sorry, I should call them by their, their names in real life. I just... <laughs> Their, their their character names come to me first. I don't get it. But anyway, huh. I am so happy. So let me recap. Neil was super cool. I saw him all three days because why not? <laughs> why not? And then my friends saw him all three days. That's how we met. We were in his line together. So we spent some time together. The first day, I may have said it already, but if I didn't, I'm going to say it now. <laughs> so the first day, I got an autograph and a selfie with him which i'll probably post uh he was really really sweet and i'm trying to think what the heck did we talk about i think it was just i gave him the letter with the song that i wrote i don't remember what else i said i just faintly remember saying that i took a photo with him he said you know and it's cool he asks for consent which is really nice because he's like can i put my arm around you which is great and then i you know and i asked for consent too, so I said, can i put my arm around you because he's tall so i was just like i'm just gonna go around like your waist or something. I don't know. Oh shoot, my root beer. I got root beer. <laughs> well, right now it's sweet vanilla cream or something, but first it was root beer. I had to. This was, these mugs were too damn tempting not to get. So we got it. Sorry, I'm trying to stay in frame. I can't zoom in. So I'm so tired. I, it, the con is still going for like another two and a half hours, but I'm too damn tired. I want to take a fucking nap because all the walking and then just like, I only mainly went for the Baldur's Gate 3 actors and I saw the ones that I wanted to see. And once I was done with all that, I was like, well, that's it. I mean, I don't really want to buy anything else. I bought a couple prints. I bought prints from all of them to sign. I got some stickers. I got this mug of root beer. Well, it's not root beer anymore, but you know what I mean. Um... I gotta drink that thing before because they sold out of lids so i'm not going to be driving while there's fucking soda in this thing anyway <laughs> devora was really sweet i saw her yesterday she was so kind and so sweet oh my goodness and i shook her hand she was very lovely she gave me uh a quote from Lazel, the you think you can survive without me and i told her about gideon well i didn't tell her his name but i you know i didn't i didn't tell any of them that i stream i just told them that i play the game and i told her i was a tiefling and she's like oh she Lazel doesn't like that i was like yeah i know and it was so fun so we talked about that for a moment she had really bomb earrings she said a fan gave her those earrings they were like uh, they were like hoop earrings. Well, they were dangling, but they had hoops with a sword and they were so cool. I was like, those are so nice. You know, I shook her hand and that was it. Today was Shadowheart, uh, Jennifer and Aliona, her girlfriend. And I told them both, I, I was like, I love you both so much. And uh, she, she said she liked my name when I told her my name was Chris. And she's like, I love that name. And I told her, thanks, it's because I'm trans and I chose the name for myself. And she was like, oh, that's great. And then at the end of the conversation, because I told her I bought a PS5 just for the game. I told her how much I loved the game. I told her how I'm blessed to like have found community in this game. And she kind of agreed, you know, <laughs> we were, I was like, I bought a PS5 just for the game. And she was like, same. <laughs> and I was like, that is so cool. I mean, like, it's so awesome how much we kind of have in common with like the people that made this game. It's kind of cool. Just, just, I, I know it's like weird. I'm not trying to be weird about it. Like, oh, their favorite color is blue too. We have so much in common. I'm not trying to be like weird about it. I'm just saying that is so humbling 
to think that you know like these people are just regular people too you know they be they be out here doing it <laughs> i know that sounds dumb but sometimes i like work myself up and i build them up in my head so much and i'm like they're just fucking normal people too you know but she she was like could i give you a hug and i was like yes and both her and eliona gave me hugs and i was so happy they were they are so sweet and they're so beautiful all of the Baldur's gate three actors are very beautiful people i'm just like Oh, I'm so happy I met them. I, I want to meet Tim Downey. I want to meet Theo. I want to meet Carlax actor, actress Samantha. Cause I don't know. I was about to just say Carlax and I was like, no, say her name. <laughs> oh, I want to meet them all. I want to meet Halson's voice actor, David Jones. I want to meet them all. They are so cool. That was really the gist of it other than making the friends I made and uh, buying the few prints that I got. You know what? Let me show you. I did show you the Shadowheart one. Let me see if I can... I don't want to, like, pull out the whole bag, but here, I got another one. I bought this the first day, but I didn't have Neil sign it till today, because I was like, I just wanted to see him one more time, so... I don't know if you can see it, it just says my name and his signature. Really sweet, really cool. Short, sweet, and to the point. That is that, folks. I was hoping that I could give you more, but it was also... This is my first con since 2016. I think the last con I went to was Wizarding World or something like that. Or WonderCon in Vegas. Like, in yeah. I don't remember what it was called. I think it was called Wizard World. But it was in 2016. And that was the last con I ever did. And it was only my second con ever. And to be honest with you, it was, it was okay. But I didn't know any video games or anything that I liked back then now i have something to kind of give a shit about video game wise so that's why i did this and um Baldur's gate 3 is going to stick with me for such a long time so any cons in the future that have anyone from Baldur's gate 3 in it i will most likely be attending if finances and time allow i'm not saying and traveling too like i'm not gonna like travel very far like this was in arizona it's not very far from me so what a fucking trip though I love it here. Phoenix is so cool. It's my first. It was my first time staying in Phoenix. There's other places in Arizona I've been to. I just can't think of them. Uh, but again, not staying, just like driving through or passing through, you know. So this was a fun experience. My first time really traveling by myself. Not by myself. I mean, my my friend, my chosen brother, he came with me. Uh, just to make sure I'm safe and good and all that. Um, he didn't come to the con with me. He just came to like make sure I'm okay by myself um but yeah we're all good everything's good and I had a great time so no regrets I'm so glad I spent the extra money to get the VIP package because that's helped out a lot and I would definitely do it again I might come back next year I mean if I find I'm not gonna sit here and be like Baldur's Gate 3 is gonna be the only thing I care about ever forever ever it might be but it might not be at the same time Honestly, I don't really care. I'm just happy to love this game and be a part of a community that loves it so much, too. Um, I can't believe how much this game has brought a lot of people together. Like, the fact that everybody was just crowding around for... Well, I mean, it was mainly Neil. I mean, I feel kind of bad because Neil got the most attention and Devorah and Jennifer were just kind of there. And I felt... I, I mean, I don't want to say it like that, but... Their lines were so small compared to his, and I just felt so bad. I was like, you guys deserve love too. It is what it is. Maybe it was just this place, because I was talking about that to my friends, and they were like, I think it's just where you are, because there's been other cons where all of the actors get, like, huge lines. So, I don't know, but I'm just, I'm just glad I went. I'm just glad I saw them all. I'm glad I spent the extra time to just walk around and chill. There was a lot of cool stuff I saw, but you know, I was on a budget and I spent my money specifically on the signings and Baldur's Gate 3 stuff. So to me, it was money well spent. Like that's all I cared about. And I know that these memories and these prints, these things that I got, it's all going to last. And that was the important part. That's my take from it. That was my con experience. And I was really glad I went. I'm sorry I'm out of breath again because I'm tired and I've been walking and I'm talking nonstop. God, I need to breathe. <laughs> I need to breathe. I need a nap too. I've been up early and I didn't sleep very well. I haven't slept well these past few days and I thought I would considering how nice the hotel is. But like, I miss my own bed. I need to be in my own bed. It's just a comfort thing. I don't know if it's and every, I, I mean, I'm sure other people feel this way too. I don't know if it's a neurodivergent thing. I don't know if it's just a me thing. 
I don't know. I want to go back to my bed. I love it here in Arizona, but I want to go back to my bed. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'm sorry if it's a little boring, but, and I'm sorry again that I didn't get to show you guys like me actually meeting Neil, but you'll get to see pictures. Um, and I didn't want to ask, like, can I videotape this? Cause it didn't look appropriate. Like how the signings were set up. It, I didn't feel like it was appropriate. So I just, yeah, I, I just couldn't do it. I, if I could have, I would have. Well, I mean, I could have gotten a recording from him, but like, I didn't, I, I, too much money. I'm sorry. No offense, but I didn't want to spend too much money and I'm happy with what I got. And plus it was my first time meeting all of them. So I wanted that experience to be for me. It was very personal. Here we are. We have it. You saw what I did for the most part. You have proof that I met Neil. I didn't get pictures with Shadowheart or Lazel. I'm so sorry. I keep saying that character names. I didn't get pictures with Devora or Jennifer. I wish I could have, but again, I was on a budget, so I got what I could get, and that's it. I'm happy just to have seen them, though. I'm very, very happy with all of it. Next time, if there is a next time, which I'm sure there will be, I just don't know when the next time will be, but if I ever do get the chance to see them again, I will try to get pictures with the other cast members and not just Neil. Good times! Thanks for watching! Arizona, I love ya! And goodbye!